Yeah, all right, y'all. Well, this is your favorite redneck here. What we're going to do this morning is we're going to show you the proper use of Internet Explorer. Now, you might have it down here. It's that little blue E, or you might have it in your start menu. Some of y'all put it on your desktop. Um, send to desktop, create shortcut. We ain't going to do that because, uh, anyway. This is how to properly use Internet Explorer. You click right there. If you've got a machine with Internet Explorer, this is really important to know um, how to do this. So you go in this top bar up there, and you type in www.openshuse.org. Hit enter. Alright. And bear in mind, I'm uh, on a server operating system. Uh, what is this? Uh, probably don't want my license keys out there. I'm on uh, that one right there. Came with the machine. But anyway, you click right here. And because I'm on a server operating system, I might get this blocked. I don't know. And you click download DVD, and then you click save. And once that DVD is downloaded, you burn it. You burn the uh, ISO image to a DVD, and you reboot your machine. You install that shit, um, which I have another video on how to solve all your Windows problems. And this is just the basic step. I mean, if you have that blue E on your machine, you really need to do this because I mean. What I've just shown you and explained, you know, hey, burn that shit to DVD, upload the shit, you know, um, reboot the machine and install the shit, get rid of that goddamn Windows. That is the only proper use for Internet Explorer. So we'll do it again for you. We'll go to that blue E, and I shouldn't even have to type it in because I've already typed it in, opensusie.org. You hit get it. You hit download DVD. You hit save that shit. And once it's all the way down, you go on ahead and, uh, oh, and by the way, there is, if you've got an older 32-bit PC, you click right there and change it to a 32-bit. But most PCs these days are 64-bit. Um, once you've got it downloaded, burn it to DVD. Reboot the machine with that DVD in there and install it and I promise you it will fix every one of your Windows problems just doing that right there. Alright, we'll holler at y'all later. I hope I was helpful.